Hey, hey. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> JK, it's me. Uh, Belka, in case you didn't recognize me. Ooh. <laughs> I know, I kind of got caught in the rain. My hair is all wet in my face. Nah, I think I'd rather stay out here and, you know, see how much rain my clothes can still absorb. Catch a cold or two. Crack open a uh, cold one. Okay, please. <laughs> please, can I come in? <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> it's even colder in here. <sighs> my hair is kind of wet, huh? Okay, quick, 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 quick. Don't even think about this question. Just look at me and answer. If I were an ugly, wet dog shivering in the rain, what breed would I be? Hey. Oh. Hey. That's mean, you're mean. But I would look exactly like that dog. Right, what am I doing here? And at this hour? <laughs> well, if you must know, I was coming back from Emily's. We just finished our papers. And I was walking by the neighborhood and I remembered that you were looking kind of off today. Kind of sad. No offense. Uh, <laughs> well, so, I yeah, I started walking over to check on you. And the whole way I was just trying to think of a good reason to tell you that I was coming over. You know, like an excuse. <sighs> Well, not like that. Hey. Yeah, an excuse to see your weird face. Psh. Just kidding. I know, right? Sheesh. A, a beautiful girl insulting your ugly face marches on in, soaking wet from the rain and demands... Coffee? Can you please make me a hot cup of coffee? Please, I don't have any at home and I'm cold. Whoa, you're right, I actually am shivering. Huh? Well, okay, originally I was just going to ask you for a cup because I ran out at my place, but now I'm asking you for one because I'm basically a Felka popsicle. <sighs> clothes? I don't have an extra set of clothes. But I guess I should go to- oh. Are these- Are these your clothes? Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll go change in the bathroom. Okay. <sighs> so, did you finish on time? Hey. Oh my god. You got no sleep last night, did you? You pulled an all-nighter? Dude. Look at you. <laughs> I think you're the one who needs a coffee. Just look at you right now. Your posture is that of someone who wants more than anything. To plop their face first into pillow and stay there for like 10,000 hours. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, way to dodge the question. Stick a towel in my hands. <sighs> what? Come again? No! You must be exhausted, and I know you're overworked and sleep deprived. No, it, the answer is no, I'm sorry. You're not working tonight. I don't care. Look at the state you're in. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> sit down. Hey, I'm sorry, but I can't stand seeing you like this. <laughs> Get it? Can't stand because I pushed you down to sit. Oh, I'm on fire today. 
<laughs> Oof, I'm so cold. Jesus. <sighs> and I get to wear your hoodie. Yes, but if I'm getting a blanket too, then I'm sorry, Boko, but you're going down with me. There's no way in hell that I'm letting you work tonight. Plus, it's late. No, 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 no. Don't get up. Hey. I'm serious. I'm worried about you. Please. For me. Don't worry tonight. Let's just hang out. And I can grab a taxi home. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I'm not. Totally. You think a little thunder is gonna scare me? You think you could keep me here? Just because you know I'm scared of a little storm? Please let me stay. Up, 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 up. You're staying here too. Sorry, if you're keeping me here, so am I. What'd I just say? Let's just lay here until we fall asleep. I don't snore, I promise. Well, listen, you could write in the morning. I'll even help you. Okay? Okay. Buzz? To be frank, I can tell you have things on your mind. Things you want to talk about, but don't know how to. <laughs> it's okay. Can I start? Like getting stuff off my chest, I mean. Okay. So, Emily, I can feel her slipping, like our friendship. Like nothing bad happened or anything, but we're drifting apart, you know? This just happens with friends sometimes, I know, but I just, was hoping it'd be different this time. Um, it hurts. But you know, that's just life. Can't do much about it. It is what it is and it's all right. Yeah. I know. Well, were you actually opening up to me? <laughs> I'm just joking. I think you're right. I think you definitely... I would agree that you work so much that you don't let people in. Anyone in. <laughs> Have you ever stopped to think that I do want to see you more? Hang out? Spend more time together? <laughs> You know, but you always have your nose in the books. In Polish, we call you a kuyon. Kuyon. Someone with their nose in the books. <laughs> you know, or someone who's too busy studying to see. I guess I, um. <sighs> hey, stop that. Stop. Because you're a really cool person. So let people in to enjoy you. Let me in. I care about you. I saw that something was on your mind today. I care about you? Come on, you know that. Like, <laughs> come on. Well, I, I mean, I don't want to sound dramatic right now. But I really do feel like... You feel it too. When we hang out, when we're together, it's like we're just both here for each other. You notice when I'm not okay, and I do too. Simply put, 
We just fit together on like puzzle pieces, you and I. <laughs> that got deep. <laughs> but but I do mean it. I'm sorry, I just had to acknowledge the tension there. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I feel like such a baby being scared of thunder. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> it's, you know, with Emily? I mean, it's just that family is so far overseas, literally so far. I, you know, so I try to get close to people here, but it's hard. It can be hard to let people in. To let me in. But, um, maybe if it were easy, it wouldn't be so worth it. I'm... I'm worth it? <laughs> Look at you being a big softy, a big ugly softy. <laughs> well... Can... Hey, can you set an alarm for the morning? I, 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 I want to keep talking, but... I can't oversleep. Um, I want to keep talking about this, about us. Um, but I just didn't want to forget to remind you to set an alarm. <laughs> Sorry. You know how scared I am of big storms. Yeah, well, this is like super embarrassing. So I, I, you can't tell anybody. I know you won't, but please. Please promise. Biggie promise. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know how I'm scared of big storms. Obviously. Well, uh, uh, this is like super embarrassing, but you know, but I, uh, I, I sing myself to sleep when it's, uh, when I'm nervous. <sighs> It helps me just to take my mind off of it and go somewhere else. Somewhere nice. Can I... Can I sing for us? <laughs> okay. Haha, <sighs> ha, I made you yawn. Good. Submit to the tiredness. I deserve sleep. You deserve rest. Okay. What should I sing? Let me think. Give your heart and soul to me, and my 
will always be la vie en rose. Oh, I'm glad I'm putting you to sleep. That's, that's really, really nice of you to say. <laughs> okay. Shall we? Ah, <laughs> uh, let me think. Hmm. <sighs> They say there is a war between the man and the woman. Ah, ah, ah. And I've felt like this before. My heart knew that I couldn't. Ah, ah. And then you take me in. And everything in me begins to feel like I belong Like everybody needs a home And when I take your hand Like the world has never held a man I know I cannot heal the hurt But I will hold you here forever If I can if I can <laughs> And then I learn the truth How everything good in life seems to lead back to you And every single time I run into your arms I feel like I exist for love only for love, like I exist for love, only for love. I can't imagine how it is to be forbidden from loving. Cause when you walked into my life I could feel my life begin Like I was torn apart The minute I was only born And you're the other half The only thing that makes me whole I know it sounds like a light But you really need to know we are leaning out for love, and we will lean for love forever. I know I love you so. And then I learn the truth. How everything, oh, the thunder. <laughs> How everything good in my thanks, thank you. How everything good in life seems to lead back to you And every single time I run into your apartment <laughs> I feel like I exist for love Only for love and when you say my name, 
Like white horses on the waves I think it feels the same As an ocean in my veins And you'll be diving in Like nothing is out of place And we exist for love, only for love, <sighs> only for love, and I love you, I love you, I love you, and I love you, I love you, I love you. Sorry if I touch you in the night. I like to sleep with my arms like windmills. <laughs> That's what you get for calling me a chihuahua. <laughs> Stop. Good night. Tabrano. Thank you for letting me stay. I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh. <gasps> you wanted to peacefully wake me up? Mm, you're sweet. <laughs> Good morning. Mm, I did. I slept like a baby. Oh my gosh, wait. I don't remember waking up in the night at all. Uh, hey, so... Did I touch you at all in the night? Weird question, I know, but I normally can't get any shut eye if I'm sleeping in a new place. Plus, there was a storm last night. So. Oh my god, no. No, you're joking. No, don't tell me I did. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> no. Well, I did warn you that I like to spread out. <laughs> what? I was having a bad dream. How did you know? Were you awake? Oh. <laughs> I guess I must have been scared. So I clung onto your arm? 
Is that all? Or did I take your wallet in the middle of the night too, or something? Huh. And I just calmed down after that? Huh. Interesting. Oh, there's no way. Uh, honestly, I think... Oh, and by the way, you look really good. No. Yeah, I mean, yes. <laughs> but you look rested, dummy. Which is good. Good. I'm glad to see those eye bags are gone. Ah. <sighs> Honestly, I think that I probably just woke up in the middle of the night and I got scared because I didn't know where I was. <laughs> and so I felt around. <laughs> and I felt you. And, um, and it caught me down knowing that you were here with me. So... I'm so lazy. And your bed is so cozy, I could stick here forever. <clears throat> this is like when we went on that school trip our freshman year. <laughs> and you had that leech stuck onto you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry for reminding you. It's just that, like, it was that time i guess that we were like bunking together that i knew that you would be in my life for a long time i just thought you were um cute <laughs> like yeah mm. i mm. so I like the way that the light comes through your window in the morning. The way the light refreshes and breaks and makes these really pretty lines like shoo, shoo, shoo. Like these little beams of light shooting from a lonely space star making a special little light show for the lonely people on earth. Tell you a story? <laughs> what are you, five? See, that's what I mean by you're, you're just cute. You ask me things like that. <laughs> you want a story? Yeah, I can give you a story. Actually, you asked me that in the perfect time. Because I just remembered this memory. Gosh, it's been so long. I'm so happy that I remembered it. I was walking along the winding cobblestone streets of Poland with my best friend one summer night. And so we are walking back home to mine from a small get-together we had with friends. And bellies full of city square street food <laughs> at 2 a.m. are walking. It felt like a magical hour. The crickets were chirping. The street lamps illuminated our way. And everything just felt perfect. And I just felt so much love for our friends, for Micah, my best friend still to this day, for the people we would pass. And for all the possibilities still before me. It was funny because tonight is the first time in a long time that I felt like everything was just going to be okay. <sighs> the smell of the earth filled the air like it had just rained. 
and as we lazily walked through the sleepy streets, Mike and I, we happened upon a couple. They were laying on a patch of grass in the park, just holding hands. And just looking at them, it's obvious to us that they were with each other for a long time, but still madly in love. <laughs> he was making voices <laughs> for the constellations and making up a skit between some of the constellations, like, oh, Orion is having an affair with the Summer Triangle. <laughs> I don't know, just stupid. It was really corny, <laughs> but cute, because at any rate, she was laughing her head off. And the more she laughed at his silly, stupid jokes, stupid voices, the more charismatic he got. I got the sense that um, maybe he wanted to get her mind off of something. Maybe she was having a bad day and <laughs> he couldn't think of anything better to do to make her laugh, to take her mind off of it, than to <laughs> create stupid little voices for the stars and try his hardest to make her smile. It was beautiful, really annoying too, because I, I, I want that too, because I, I want to be that person that makes someone smile, you know, and me and Micah just stood there with our ears leaning in watching this moment between the two of them. And I thought to myself, well, they must really be friends. Lovers, yes, but good friends at that. And they must be so in their own world right now that they feel like they're the only two people on earth. Honestly, it gave me hope for myself that maybe one day I, too, would be laying next to my best friend, my closest confidant, a real comrade in the game of life. Even the most mundane could feel special. I'm good at telling the right stories, aren't I? I'm glad you know what I mean. Hey. When I'm with you, I feel like time stops. And there's a way I feel like this moment can last forever. And this feeling, it isn't meant to be kept hidden inside, trapped in a cage. Because this feeling I have for you, it's wild and alive. closer. Mm. Well, do you think that you can lift the sheets so we can be under the blanket together? You know, so that the light of the day can still come through, but so that it's just dark enough so we feel a little bit tucked in. Imagine.
imagined it would be. <laughs> that sounds so creepy. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I'm really glad that you got rest. I think, <laughs> think you needed someone like me to care about you enough to gently remind you to be nice to yourself. You know, the feeling I got from watching that couple joke amongst themselves in the plots of the park. I got a similar feeling with you last night. <laughs> yeah. Like, you care about me like you should. It just felt right. You took me in and gave me warm clothes and a blanket, and a bed, and something warm to drink. And you wanted to give me more. But I, in reality, all I want is you. Listen, I don't know what's going through your head, but I can tell that you want to kiss me. Am I right? Are you scared? <laughs> Your hand is so warm. Is that my alarm going off? <laughs> oh, that's great timing. It's so great. <laughs> that scared me so much. I guess I should get ready. I have work in half an hour. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, thanks for letting me stay the night. I'll see you in class, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. Is that you, stranger? <laughs> Hi. Where are you going on a walk to? <laughs> Actually, I was coming to see you. Why did I tell you that? Ugh, I'm not good at lying. <laughs> mm -mm. I rose early today. My brain was... It's like I was thinking in my sleep, so I woke up with my brain buzzing with thoughts. I just needed to do something, get up out of bed, get up, get ready, clean. 
but nothing really worked to get it to stop. So, so I just bit the bullet and started walking to you. Uh, well, well, what if I am wearing my blanket, huh? It's been a weird couple of days. <sighs> I would love to take a stroll together. <sighs> Do you want to get in on some of this blanket? That's what I thought. <laughs> Here, let's just take the same footsteps. Like we're, um, Jaman soldiers, yeah? Ready? Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> it is chilly. Look at all the branches on the ground. The city hasn't restored power to half of the houses on my block yet. Mm. Shelly came over to shower the past few nights. Yeah. Oh, Shelly. Power lines out, whole tree branches lay in the street. Tumbleweeds and black cats roam the streets. Well, that's an exaggeration, but it does feel like we've survived the apocalypse. -y. Like, look, there's no one out here except for us. I mean, like, if you close your eyes for a moment and just imagine it is the end times. <laughs> Kind of creepy. Yeah. Ugh, I hate storms. They, they make me think too deeply. You know? Deep? Good. Too deep? No, no, no. There's too much to think about. <laughs> but walks help. That's why I started walking towards you. Um... I couldn't get you out of my head the past few days. Um. <laughs> Glad we're walking side by side. I don't have to look at you when I say this, but it just feels so right being so close. I didn't feel weird at all. You know? Nobody sees me when I'm that nervous. When I'm singing to myself, like, it's embarrassing, but you didn't judge me for me. You're kind. You know, and anyway, doing the most mundane things are so fun, so easy, peaceful. We make a good team. <sighs> Why? Do you think I should speak my mind? Does it look like I have a lot to say? <sighs> Do you want me to get it off my chest? For me? Thank you. Well. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say that. Well, actually I was. You were very sweet to me. And you always... Ah, you, oh, you can always tell when I have something on my mind. <sighs> Camus once said, Love is not just confrontation with the absurdity of the world. It is a refusal to be broken by it. It is one of the ways we can each of us be stronger than our rocks. There is nothing we can do to change the constraints of our existence. Heartbreak and death await us all. <laughs> nothing makes sense. 
the world, my life, how I've gotten to where I am. But I met you in all of this. And I feel like someone gets me. You. You really understand me, you know? I'm good on my own. But it's just more fun when you're around. Um. Um. And I'm scared. Because I, I don't want you to go. I don't want to lose you. I know. You know, I, I, but I don't though. If I tell you how I feel about you. <laughs> and that damn alarm clock stopped us. I'm good. Good, because I really wanted time to process how I feel about you. So I could tell you instead of just kiss you without having it mean something, you know? Um. <sighs> if I tell you how I feel about you, well, that's okay if you don't feel the same. That's just life. But I do need to tell you or I'm going to go crazy wondering what could have been. Sorry. Um. I, I. I. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Not just like because I think you're gorgeous and kind and honest and upstanding, but I've loved you through all of the changes of you. How I feel about you is not surface level, it's deep. Because I, I have loved you through the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter and over and over again. I, how many times have you and I changed over the years and we're still best friends? I, <laughs> Hey, ugly, why are you hugging me so long? I don't know what this means. Yeah. Oh, am I making big eyes? <laughs> I'm sorry, I must look funny. I know my eyes can get really big sometimes, sorry. Naturally, you know, I got bug eyes. I just thought you were gonna say something. That's probably why I wasn't. <laughs> what? It made you happy to see me sleeping in your bed. The first thing you saw in the morning. My ugly face. Chihuahua <laughs> Velka. Yeah, well, you're pretty ugly and always shaking yourself, so. <laughs> really? Do we want to have this conversation in the street? Yeah. In, in detail, what was the emotion in your belly that you felt to see me peacefully sleeping away so close to you? Protective? Homie? Whoa there, tiger. <laughs> really? <sighs> wow. And you weren't gonna tell me. You you weren't gonna tell me. You weren't gonna tell me that. You weren't gonna tell me that. 
how many days? Um, okay, granted, it's only been three days. But that's pretty big. Dude. <laughs> can, can, can we zoom out for a moment? And look at the picture that is us right now. You and I have tears in our eyes. We both look so sleepy. <laughs> we're laughing at each other. And we're sharing my crisp white duvet. Draped over our shoulders like we're some post-rain warriors or something. <laughs> so. Where do we go? here because I don't have any alarms set I promise I love that feeling. This one. You know? <laughs> the the feeling of you um your hand on my cheek. Your thumb gently rubbing my face. That expression you have I can't quite describe it. You look like a puppy, like um you're really moved by something I said. I don't think I said something. Uh was it, was it the French philosopher Camus? Was it that quote that you're... Or do you just finally want to kiss me? And that's the face that you're making right now. Mm. Ah, I see. I see. <laughs> then, kiss me. Is it raining? Wow, that's really perfect. Mm. Well. <sighs> Here, let's use the blanket as a umbrella. <sighs> um. Are you doing anything right now? Do you want to go back to mine for coffee? Okay, then you doofus. Let me repay the favor and make you coffee. <laughs> it's, it's really early and I, 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 I want to keep talking about us. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That went a lot better than I thought it would. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, left, right, left, right, left, left. <laughs> left. <laughs> Your other left. <laughs>